warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so this is topic for financial forecasting and planning in this session we will learn about tutorial the percent of sales method in order to produce a performa balance sheet okay in this session we will cover step by step there are five step in order to produce or our our aim is to produce a um, to calculate the external additional fund, funds needed so let's we begin for the uh, step one step one converge each asset liability that varies directly with firm sales and percentage of the current year sales before you do this you need to calculate the net profit margin this one net profit margin so when you calculate net profit margin the formula is net income divided by sales so 500,000 divided by 10 million so you will get 5 percent so when you get 5 percent so you already have the important information so now we begin for the step one is convert each asset and liability that varies to the firm sales so what account that varies to the sales the firm sales current asset debt free asset account payable accrued expense and not for notes payable so this will be discussed uh, in the next uh, slide so how to calculate the proportion of this uh, current asset so the formula is current asset divided by sales you will get 20 percent so the 2, 2 million divided by 10 million so you will get 20 percent so next is net free asset divided by sales so you will get 40 percent how got 40% you will get from 4 million divided by 10 million so we go for account payable divided by sales current year current sales and then you will get 10% the formula is um, 1 million divided by 10 uh, 10 uh, thousand, 10 million so we get 10% and then same goes to accrued expense so you will get 10% and it's calculate from 1 um, 1 million divided by 10% alright done step 1 now we go for step 2 ok now step 2 we are produce performa income statement for 2013 after we done a, um, in the step 1 you was, we need to calculate the projected sales how we want to calculate projected sale we need to have the growth rate of sale from 2013 to 2014 okay in this example it, it says that increase 20 percent so how to calculate the projected sales you need to calculate previous sales is 10 million multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.2 so you will get 12 million so we already get a net profit margin right so 12 million multiplied by 0 0.05 you will get 600,000 ok now we move to current asset because we already calculate the ratio current asset so projected sales multiplied by current asset this one we already calculate in a step 1 so the projected sale how to get a projected sale it's from here ok 12,000 Okay, 12,000, 20%, you will get 2.4 million. Now, same score for the net free asset. So, it's 40% multiply, you will get 4.8 million. Alright, same procedure. Okay, for account payable and also a no other uh, accrued expense. Done, part or second step. So, we move to step number three step number three is leaving the account balance unchanged when the account does 
not vary with the level of sales. So we already calculate anti accrued expenses in a proforma, but we can see notes payable is not affected by the sales, long term debt, and also common stock um, item that is in a par value and paid in capital. Uh, so this is the item is we can see that is no change so we just record the same with the previous year in 2013 so same procedure no change for long term debt no change for common stock per value uh, and no change for 2000 uh, 200000 pay in capital okay done that is the four item is un unchanged okay or no change all right we move to project uh, the addition to return earning the addition to return earning available to help finance the firm operation this is equal the projected net income for the period for the period less plan common stock dividend so our focus is to calculate the project the addition to the return earning okay so this is our focus okay so we want to calculate in the green box okay so now now we now we go for the projected return earning okay how to calculate a projected return earning is actually equal to the 2013 level of return earning okay and plus net income minus a common dividend these both are projected okay okay these two item is we call the addition to the return earning when you net income minus a common dividend is a uh, is a uh, the addition to return earning so we already given 1.2 million plus 600,000. So this is already calculated. So less common dividend, but we do not know what is the project common dividend. How to get a common projected common dividend? So for example, in this question, they already given the, the ratio. So dividend, dividend divided by net income. So this is the ratio, 50% of the ratio. So, in order to get a projected common dividend, you need, this is the most also, the, the important part. That is, you already, if, let's say, don't have any ratio, so you need to calculate. But this one is already calculated. So, 0 multiplied by projected net income. So, this one already calculated in the, in the previous slide. So, we can see 0 0.5. Multiply by 600,000, so you will get 300,000. So when 300,000, we bring to the formula, so you will less 300,000, you will get 1,000, 1 1.5 million. So bring forward in the green box, you will see 1.5 million. Settle step number four. The last step is to project the external funds needed okay what is the okay. so we already uh, calculate and we total up everything like total asset we get a current liability uh, total liabilities that is for and then we we calculate the common equity so we get a liability plus equity 6700 so this is balance sheet, right? So, total asset must equal to liabilities plus equity. So, but the different here is called external fund needed. So, in this step 5, we are focusing on the yellow box. So, project external funds needed, you will, um, you must uh, get a total financing needed that is uh, equal or equal to total asset less total fi financing provided so financing provided is liability plus equity so in this question is 7.2 million so less 6.7 million 
so you will get 500,000 or half million so when you get half million you will transfer the half million you have been calculated in the external funds needed so you will get this half million should be here so your performer balance sheet is already balanced all right okay this is the full view of your um your answer if you want to produce a performer income statement so it suggests to uh, answer in this kind of format so you can see the overall of uh, of the answer so this is suggestion answer so you should follow this format and um, this next session we will uh, we will focus on how to answer uh, june 2018 that is a uh, legacy corporation see you and to be continued in the next video thank you so much assalamualaikum thank you for listening and watching